Let's perform the indicated operation. It is subtraction of fractions, so these denominators have to be the same before we can subtract. So let's decide on a least common denominator. For these two denominators, it's their product, which is 24. So we need to write each fraction as an equivalent fraction, but with a denominator of 24. We'll begin with the first fraction. What do I multiply 8 by in order to have a product of 24? I multiply 8 by 3, and if I'm multiplying by 3 in the denominator, I've got to multiply by 3 in the numerator so that I'm, in essence, multiplying by 1. Then let's continue. Minus, my second fraction is 1 third. What do I multiply 3 by in order to have a product of 24? Well, I multiply by 8. So I'm going to multiply the entire fraction by 8 over 8. Now let's see what's happening by multiplying. 7 times 3 is 21. 8 times 3 is 24. Minus 1 times 8 is 8. 3 times 8 is 24. Notice what I've accomplished. I'm subtracting, but now the denominators are the same. What is 21 minus 8? 21 minus 8 is 13 over a common denominator of 24. This is in simplest form, so here is my difference in simplest form.